Hey guys, once again I present to you my 56 inch can arm ceiling fan and 56 inch contact ceiling fan. So these were the two that came out of my college uh, about three years ago now. I originally filmed them five years ago when they were still installed. I did at least one video on them and I thought I did a second one, I'm not 100% certain. But long story short, they ended up in my possession because they were the maintenance guy remembered me, and it was really nice of him to do that. <laughs> I did an individual testing video of them about 11 months ago. You guys could check that out. But uh, the reason I have them both together is because I never presented them together, and I never presented this at its full capacity. Which, as of four hours ago, or six hours ago, this now has a new capacitor and is now running 100%. So, as I mentioned, this is the can arm. Full focus. There's your logo. There's your logo for that. The uh, canopy, as you can see, is busted. Whoops. There's just no ring on the bottom of this canopy, so it just kind of sits here. So that's a little weird. And then the Contec, which I think is a commercial fan, based on the logo. Here's what's left of the label for this thing. And then I think it's over here. Do not use an extension cord. This, where is it? Oh yeah, this one's from 1993. Yeah, for commercial use only. So I guess that makes it a commercial fan. But yeah, dated, either, I assume, either the sixth week of 1993 or June of 1993. So I guess... Happy birthday, big fella. <laughs> oh, yeah, and this one was dated... Uh, what is that one at? Here it is. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe January 3rd, 1986? But regardless, let's give them a run, shall we? There's a familiar sound. You get a good look at the display in the background. You see I've changed absolutely nothing. <laughs> Yeah, I had plans to kind of rearrange some of the fans, but that really didn't pan out. Ooh, it's a little wobbly. I think this is a... Yeah, that's not good. I have a work light shining on them because they're a little hard to see at this time of day. And the lighting just screws up the camera and makes them even harder to look at. So as you probably remember, this used to be its high speed. <laughs> I could adjust the low trim on this control. It's a little higher than I would have liked. When I was testing that Westinghouse, I uh, had to crank it up because it kept stalling out. Yeah, that's way too fast. Let's do a fifth of a turn. Man, it's loud now. So already you can see the can arm is a lot faster than the Contec. I know someone theorized that back in its heyday, this would have been the better of the two fans. And I have to say they are 100% correct. Holy cow, this thing's fast. <laughs> okay, let's uh, go to media, uh, medium here. Yeah, the... The uh, speed trim is horrible for this poor can arm. Jump up to another fifth of the turn. That's nearly high for both of them. Yeah, the Contec is not the biggest fan of this speed trim either. That's also a little fast for my liking. Boy, this thing is really moving now. <laughs> and we're just going to jump to high because I've already showed these multiple times. And honestly, I need to save some time for the long spin down that's going to come after these two. So I think they're just about at full speed now. And as you can see... 
This can arm is way faster than that Contech and way faster than it used to be. This sucker hauls now. And the breeze I'm getting from it is remarkable. This is one of the strongest curved bladed industrials I've hung here in a while. That canopy is killing me though. I wish I could fix that. A zip tie would fix that, but I'm kind of lazy. <laughs> to see they're starting to move some of these fans around but yeah this is what the can arm is supposed to look like <laughs> and it's crazy to think it probably hasn't run like this in a good decade or so all right let's do spin down and then i'll go Pop a squat over here. We sit back and let them spin down. So just as a quick recap of the story of these two, these were both out of the classroom, sophomore classroom in my college. Um, the building itself was built in the 1950s. It was renovated, I assume, around 1986. That's where the can arm and I assume its twin came from. And I guess only seven or eight years into their fit, the into the renovation, one of the can arms must have died or something, and they replaced it with this Contec. You'll note the down rod and the upper canopy are not original to this. That's because they were from this fan's twin. But the bottom and the uh, rest of the fan is still original, which is good because I'm glad the Contec canopy, the lower one, is still attached to this fan because that's not one I'll ever find again, I bet. And uh, ever since 1993 or 94, when this fan's from, I assume that's how long they've been running together. And I would guess just over the years of being on a Vera speed, the can arms capacitor was definitely starting to drift, and that's where the buzzing noise came from. So just earlier today, I was at Wee Fire's house, brought a few box fans to get some get some TLC, and I decided to bring this for him to check it out. And, yeah, he pretty much confirmed what I already kind of knew. It needed a new capacitor. So one cap replacement later, and it's running like a champ. And in this light, you can see just how beat up it is. The blades are rusted. The paint's kind of peeling, so it definitely needs a repaint. Might be something I look into, i got to be honest. <laughs> one of the blades on this is a little bent. I could probably bend it back, but, uh, yeah. Not right now. <laughs> so after a capacitor and some oil, this thing is running like it should have, or like it did back in 1986. I gotta be honest, I haven't seen a can arm this old in person. I've only really seen them in collector's hands. Same thing with the Contec. And I've never seen one that was brown before. I've only seen them once in one of uh, Dan Spiffy Newman's videos. It was that church that had like the six or seven contacts in it. This particular one I found out has a cast iron motor with the steel blades. I did the magnet test and they weren't aluminum like I thought they were, which is pretty cool. Obviously that thing is steel. Spin down time, usually, I don't know, it's gone either way. Usually the Contec has the longer of the two spin downs. But now that that's running at full speed, I'm really not sure what will take longer. I haven't actually tested this myself yet. <laughs> I'm also told that the brown finish for these Contecs it makes them a little more, makes them more rare versus the white ones. I have seen a white one for sale once. I think it was labeled as a frigid, which was kind of weird. Too far away for me to get, though. I bet I have seen these can arms in my past, but as with many fans, it's probably something I just blew off as whatever. I certainly don't do that now. 
Yeah, it's a good thing this chair is comfy because when you film something like when you film steel bladed industrials, you'll be sitting a while with these spin downs, even with the bearing noise. Of the two of them, though, the context bearings are definitely noisier. Doesn't in a, it doesn't inhibit its spin down time any though, as far as I know. These fans actually, I think someone asked if they were used very much. Believe it or not, these fans were used almost daily. At times, they ran almost weekly without being turned off 24-7. They were heavily used, and personally, I would use them when I was helping out with the floors. If I, were, if I was mopping, I would have them run just to kind of blow the chemical smell around and help dry it out. They ran them during class, during most classes, during big tests. Sometimes they would turn them off just because that, con that canar made it hard to think. <laughs> And there was another can arm on campus, too. That one's in a building that's used maybe six weeks out of the whole year. So that, and they have no plans with it. So it's definitely going to be staying there permanently. Looks like I was right. Looks like this time it's going to be the contact that stops first. Oh, yeah, and that building didn't have great humidity control. So that's probably why the can arm is rusted. And why this one looks a little funny. The paint doesn't look great on this one either. I haven't really run these fans for a long time like I usually do when I film them. So this is just kind of how they were. Well, the can arm had a little advantage because I just lubricated the bearings. This one was just sitting in storage for a few months. Yeah, I believe of most, if not all, the fans I've tested, this one is currently sitting at second place for overall spin down time. Used to be number one, but that little Airmaster, I think Mark I I had a few months ago, that now sits at the top. For a commercial, for a commercial fan though, as this is supposedly labeled, this is definitely a very good, above average commercial fan for the ones I've tested. Of course, the ones I've tested are all pretty much modern and they're very underwhelming. Not this one, though. Got to be a good five, six, probably seven minutes into this now. <laughs> yeah, I think the blade is a little bent only because it sat on, it was, the can arm sat on top of it for a few months. So that's probably what happened to it. Just because of the weird bulge in the middle of the blade. Oh, yeah. And they did renovate the building back in 2022, 2023, I think. They did actually replace these with fans. I, I assume they weren't going to put any because they said they weren't going to. But I guess they changed their mind. I have no idea what the heck they are. They're some modern thing. My guess would be like Kitchler or something. They look like residential fans. And it's kind of funny to me because it's like I would love to feel the breeze from those if they do anything up there. But I guarantee they'll be much quieter than an industrial set or a pair of industrial fans. Yeah, with the new cap, I bet these would have gone. I bet these both would have gone for another 30, 40 years together. It's very tempting to reach out and stop it. <laughs> but I know that won't that will make a lot of people very upset. <laughs> Also, for the first time ever on my display, I have all four all four industrials that are hanging are all brown. <laughs> Got the Caribbean Breeze still, Crompton Greaves, and then these two. I wish I was timing this. I bet this was probably pushing its record, its personal record of just shy of eight minutes spin down. Wow, they almost stopped in the same position. And finally, it stopped. <laughs> so let's do zero to high and wrap this up, shall we? This is where the can arm really shows how much it's improved since its new capacitor. <laughs> yeah, 
if a fan could be grateful, this one would be thanking me. <laughs> and we fire. <laughs> yeah, this is way better than it used to be, obviously. This thing is so powerful, and I wish the down rod was shorter so I could keep it hung up. I may leave them up here a while, though. I love seeing the two of them together. First time they've rung to, it's the first time they've actually spun together since they were installed about three years ago now. So it's kind of a happy little reunion of these two. But anyway, I've gone on for too long now. So there you have it. The finally restored Canarm CP56 and the Contact Industrial, 56 inch industrial. Commercial, sorry. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.